Uh, what's up, family? What's up? What's up? What's up? Come on. Come on now. Make sure so we can hear each other. Mm hmm. Come on, Facebook. Come on, I'm coming. I'm kind of coming kind of early on the weekend. But hey, all right. Somebody in the house. What's up? How you doing? Who that? Who who is that? Come hither. Let me see who you are. Who are thou? Come on. Let's go. How y'all doing this morning? First off, I want to thank you. Everybody that's watching. Oh, what's up, Mr. Aaron Rhodes? Peace, family. How you doing? We about to toast the ancestors. Um, uh, let me get one more drink. We about to kick it this morning. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Great day, great Kaumba. All right, so as you see, I have it packed up in here today. So um, today, the YouTube video is going to be on sourdough, right? Y'all know I'm into fermenting. Y'all, those of you that's been keeping up with me over my fast, I was fermenting beets, I fermented cabbage, I made a, a cabbage stew for a minute. So. I really believe in the power of fermentation and being able to create stuff in our homes to to help us stay healthy. Um, yesterday I did a show on whole grains and how um, how we robbing ourselves by not having whole grains in our lives. I know a lot of people say you don't need you need to get rid of grains and stuff like that, but the issue is the processed grains. The issue is that we're getting partial pieces of nutrition rather than the whole piece so what i'm talking about is whole grains like if you're gonna eat wheat get whole wheat you know what i'm saying if you're gonna eat grains get whole grains like um quinoa you know what i'm saying like kamen you know what i'm saying get whole grains and add those to to your diet so what i got for y'all today is of course we're gonna do our toast but um I'm experimenting with sourdough, so we're gonna talk about sourdough. So this is my sourdough starter. Mm-hmm. Right. For those that don't know what that is, look that up. Right. This is a starter that I started specifically using that ambrosia. This is this is a starter with whole wheat and using that ambrosia, which is a kombucha. So this is a, basically a sourdough that's fermented using a fermented drink <laughs> uh so i'm trying to come up with a fermented bread right which i'm about to put in the oven right now as you can see right here i made this dough yesterday i'm about to go put that in the oven while we speak but also yesterday i also finished up some whole grain pizza well, it was more of it, but I crushed that off. The crust, I made the crust. It has tofu, um, cheese, and with the leftover pieces of the pizza, I rolled it up and I put some Swiss cheese in that style right there. Got that right there. I'm trying to come up with a whole grain bar, right? A super bar made specifically from whole wheat, right? This has oatmeal. It got real cacao, or what, what we know as cocoa, or chocolate, but it's the real thing is made with honey. No, um, the only dairy product is butter that I use the butter, the size of the pan, but um, I ain't even use milk. I use ambrosia as the, uh, the liquid base. So this one is the one with the uh, whole grain 
wheat and oatmeal. And this one is just whole wheat and honey. This is my honey loaf, right? It has one cup of water and one cup of ambrosia. But yo, man, listen, I'm not playing. I'm not playing, right? What's up, brother? What's up, brother Kwame? Right? Listen, I'm not playing. Look, so basically with this starter, with this sourdough starter that, that I got right here, right? This is 100% made with that ambrosia and whole wheat. It's alive. I have to feed it once a week. So once a week, I got to cook with it to keep it healthy and keep it alive. Great Kumba, right? So now, I'm trying to perfect getting a health bar, right? Because we need stuff to take the place of Snickers and shit, right? You know, because uh, Snickers satisfy, supposedly. So, hey, we might as well come up with our own shit, right? When I talk about eating like a boss, see, because I'm coming from the old framework. When you look at a boss, right, back in the old days, a boss was basically a landlord. And a landlord would eat only stuff from his land, Right? We talking about being bosses and we buying shit from everybody else. You can't be a boss if you don't have your if you don't control your food supply. Right? You're not balling if you don't control your food supply. So if you're not involved in the process of your food or people around you are involved with the process of putting food on your table, you can't be a boss. Right? You can't even have a community. This is the fact, right? So we got to start learning how to get back out here and start farming. We got to start learning how to control the, control the little bit of land we got. Now, I know some of y'all like, Brother Hatim, I live in an apartment. Brother Hatim, I live in a small apartment. But you have little lots where you can start growing stuff and start learning to control your destiny. Right? By us putting our hands in the earth, we're putting ourselves back into the cycles of nature, fam. Right. By us taking like, for example, even if we do have to go to the grocery store, by us learning to ferment, we're learning to take control of our food, the, our food chain. Right. Like this right here, man. Listen, listen. Brother Kwame, what I got right here is that honey loaf bread, man. Your ginseng and black seed. Right. Is ready. Now, if you get with me today. I'm give you a sample of some of this, some of this bread, man. Hit me up, hit brother Hot Tim up. Great Kumba, right? I got the pizza. I got the, I got the bread. I'm about to put in the oven. I got the oven heating up right now. But right now, what we about to do? We about to do our toast, right? So those of you that know the rules, get your water. Let's get the water. Get the water. I'm going to try to do 32 ounces a day, fam. Let's go. Shouts out to Blakely. That's eight ounces. Woo! Come on. Y'all know the rules. Drink that water. So on the YouTube today, we're gonna to be talking about the health benefits of sourdough. Yep. You have Martin Luther King Library at 4 p.m. in their meeting room. Yeah, I'll get to you there. I'll get to you, right? If you can, Send me a text before you roll out to remind me because you know I'll be here. And if my daughter's not here, I will remember. But if my daughters come back home, all bets are off. And somebody better reach out to me because they be driving me crazy. Martin Luther King Library. On Long Street? Is that Martin Luther King Library on Long Street? That's 24. Now, I'm still experimenting. Yeah, okay. I'm still experimenting with rhodiola. They call this North American ginseng. 
This is a supposedly super herb. My system is clean right now. So I'm experimenting with it. Um, once again, um, those y'all, some of y'all, y'all need to keep up with me in my little personal experiments on um, gum.co forward slash GNJ update. Because I be doing some little life hacks and shit and I be fucking myself up and I want to make the mistakes so that y'all don't have to, right? So one of the mistakes I made was in breaking a fast. So I talked about on my last update how you should prepare a fast because I did a 21 day fast. And I did it wrong, right? See, when we fast, our ancestors, because our ancestors is dope, man. Think about this. We, we, we built the pyramid, right? Pyramid goes up like this, you know, like you got triangles going up. And it's just like a mountain. When you're going up a mountain, you have to plan to go up the mountain and down the mountain, right? When you're going on a spiritual journey, you got to plan to go up and come back down. I just planned to go up. I didn't plan on a descent. You know what I'm saying? That's how see this is why this is why we need elders, right? Because an elder would have been able to tell me, Hi Tim, you doing some dumb ass shit. Now I had one sister come on and be like, Brother Hi Tim, the end of your fast just don't sound right. No water. You know what I'm saying? My mama, my mom started getting on me. My wife started, my wife was giving me the evil eye. My sister came over and threatened my life. You know what I'm saying? Because I was losing weight. She said, oh, I weigh more than you. I'll beat your ass right now. So you go and try if you want to. You know what I'm saying? I might be light right now, but I'm still tight. You know what I'm saying? But the, the point I'm trying to make is we need elders, right? Especially for men. We need men elders. See, and, and, and this is what's crazy. I didn't go see one of I didn't go see one of my major elders. I didn't go see Elder Harrison, right? Because I know he would have forced me to eat. So I'm not, you know, because I can't tell him no. He's seven foot tall, about three hundred pounds. I'm I'm not telling him no. You know, not in the basement. Not in his basement. Well he know what well, no. Nah, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. You got to have you some elders, right? So now when we fasting or we doing something serious, we got to have an entrance plan and an exit plan. Just like a pyramid, you go up, you reach the pinnacle, and then you come down, right? So in any fast you do, the middle part of the fast should take you to the heights of the fast, right? And then on the other end of the halfway mark, you start returning back to doing or eating regularly. So my fast, instead of 21 days, instead of going 20, instead of going 19 days, and then going three days with no water, I should have went, I should have went, um, I should have went like eight days, three days, no water, then eight days, water, Water ambrosia, water juice, back to food, right? That was my mistake. All right. <clears throat> but you learn something every time. Oh, and I will have my golem bottle to recycle. All right. I got you. Four o'clock, I'll meet you over there, my friend. Because that's what we do. All right. I'm taking the rhodiola. All right, so what I'm going to bring you, I'm going to bring you a sample of the, the bar with the uh, oatmeal as well as the plain cake. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, all right. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so now let's get to this toast. I got a little bit of ambrosia left because I was cooking last night. Cooking with the ambrosia. That's right. The bread was made with almost all ambrosia. You know the only thing that could make this ambrosia better right now? Is a smooth fruit smoothie. And guess what I just happened to have? I got some fruit. 
So, first, giving honor to the Creator by whatever name you choose, call that Creator. We lift up our glasses and we toast that Creator, the Creator of the universe. We toast Him or toast it. We toast this higher power, right, that surrounds us and that, that flows within us. And we toast and we say our shade. From there we move to our personal ancestors. We call and we remember our personal ancestors. We lift up our glasses to them. We remember them, right? Because if not for them, we don't know where we would be. So we lift our glasses to them and we remember each and every last one of them. We send praises their way, right? We send honor their way. We send remembrance their way. We send our shade their way, right? Because they're trying to send it to us. So, we call on our ancestors. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia and William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Nina, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, um, Herman Brown Sr., right? No, Herman Brown the second. Then we move to Alvaro Brown, Gina Gaines, Right then, I moved to um, Jamon Jones, um, John Fillar, Montague Pittman, there, Normal X, Sapet Ma Ra, um, Dr. Marianne Williams, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, um, Elder Harrison, Elder Donaldson, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie, um, Uh, that's all I can think of right now. So we lift up our glasses to those we call, and we lift our glasses to those we didn't call, and we toast them and we say our shame. We remember this moment right now. We remember that we are in Kaumba, and we toast Kaumba, and we say our shame. From there, we move on to our children. We toast our children, and we say our shame. Right? We toast them now so that they will remember to toast us in the future. We toast them and we say our shame. From there, you all ready? From there, I toast you. I remember you, right? I thank each and every last one of y'all for spending the time with us. I toast you. And we say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I wish each of you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. That ambrosia. That ambrosia, man. Listen, now we about to smoothie it up. Only on Facebook, man. Listen, so brother, you know I go on the fast. I lose my mind, man. Listen, I lose my mind. I start baking. I'm making my own pizza. I'm making my own bread. Speaking of that. Excuse me for one second. I'm about to take the bread right here. I'm about to go put it in the oven so it could be done for my next show. We're living in a marvelous, marvelous time, family. Listen, you could bake your own bread, right? You could break your own bread in an hour, right? You can make your own smoothies. Right? There's no reason for any of us not to be healthy, man. There's no reason. Right? I'm about to make my smoothie right here on YouTube. I mean, on my fault, Facebook. But I'm going to drink it on YouTube. I can make my own smoothie on Facebook and drink the shit on YouTube. I can eat pizza that I made with my own hands. I mean, it don't get no better than this. It don't get no better than this. All right, that's enough. That's enough. So now, I got an Ambrosia smoothie. Ambrosia smoothie. Man, I'm living a life. We living a life, family. Now. Those of y'all, some of y'all, like I said, y'all need to keep up with my updates because I'm doing life hacks, right? I'm doing life hacks. 
Very simple. Ooh, you see this? You see the ice coming up off of that? All right. So. Now, I'm about to announce a major workshop that's coming here. I just got to talk to um, some of the family on some of these committees that I'm starting to get involved with. As I get older, I start, I'm start. i starting to realize the importance of uh, partnerships, right? So... Um, I'll be announcing a workshop that'll be happening hopefully the weekend of August 11th, I think. Yeah, August 11th, Friday. Oh, oh push ups. Um, Nia and Kaumba, 11th and 12th. Y'all see that? All right. So I'm saying, peace, Facebook. Kwame, I will see you. I'm going to get your um, gallon ready now. And now I'm on my way to Facebook. I mean, now I'm on my way to YouTube. All right, Facebook, I'm out.